Hey honey, I'm back again with recipes that make you want to cook and today we're making this delicious and creamy pilchard pasta. In a pan or skillet, you're going to go ahead and add your oil and go ahead to add your red onion, some green, yellow and red pepper. So tea that for about a minute until translucent. Add 2 teaspoons of your garlic paste or crushed garlic, then sauté for another 30 seconds. For the seasonings, these are the seasonings I used, honey, and they are so delicious. The combination is out of this world. Go ahead and season and sauté until the spices are incorporated for about 2 minutes. Then you're going to add your sun-dried tomato pesto as well as the sauce that comes from the tinned fish, okay? So you want to separate the tinned fish and the sauce. Then you're going to add it in there and mix together. Cook for about 5 minutes on medium-low heat. Then we're going to go ahead and add your chopped tomatoes as well as a tablespoon of sugar and cover that to simmer for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, it is nice and juicy. You're going to switch off your stove and let the sauce completely cool down. Once the sauce has completely cooled down, you're going to go ahead and add it into a blender. I'm using a stick blender here, so you want to transfer all of it in there and blend until smooth. You want the sauce to be nice and smooth, velvety and creamy. Set that aside honey, then you're going to bring a pot of water to a boil and season generously with some salt and add your pasta to cook until al dente. Once the pasta is cooked, you're going to drain it and set it aside. In the same pan, you're going to go ahead and add your salted butter and add back the creamy sauce honey. Incorporate until the butter is cooked completely melted then you're gonna go ahead and add your 250 ml of fresh cream and mix it through honey look how delicious that is then you're going to go ahead and add your parmesan cheese mix it through and then this is the time you can add your pilchard fish you can add it as chunky as you want or as finely chopped as you want it's all up to you you go incorporate your pasta and that is the recipe nice and creamy garnish with some parsley and you are ready to to serve. You can find the full recipe at www.wanacook.co.za. I will also leave the link in the comments and I'll see you on the next one.